be very open to having something videoed. He, he, yes, he seemed to be very elated in the prospect that there was some sort of videotape. Hoping that that would actually document what happened that night. Yes, sir. Lead investigator Chris Serino returned to the stand Tuesday in the murder trial of Florida volunteer watchman George Zimmerman. Serino said he believed that Zimmerman's hope that the confrontation and killing of black unarmed teenager Trayvon Martin was videotaped led him to believe Zimmerman was telling the truth. But Serino's testimony was no slam dunk for the defense. Zimmerman called police before the confrontation saying Martin looked suspicious. Prosecutor Bernie De La Rionda raised the specter of racism. If, if I were to believe that somebody was committing a crime, could that not be profiling that person? Believe? It could be construed as such, yes. Both sides also took up the issue of Zimmerman's injuries. For the defense, Zimmerman's best friend, Mark Osterman. He had a swelling on his left side of his head. It was, a, it was about the size of your fist. For the prosecution, medical examiner Valerie Rao. They were not life-threatening. Uh, they were very insignificant. Both issues play to Zimmerman's state of mind when he shot 17-year-old Martin in the heart with a handgun last year. Prosecutors would have to convince the jury that Zimmerman acted with ill will or hatred in order to win a second-degree murder conviction.